So what's the news? What's the news of the week? Well, let me tell you something. There is some amazing things happening out there in the world. I think I'm going to click on this so I can see it better. Uh, does that mess you up, Scott? Is that okay? All right. So investor home purchases hit record surpassing pre pandemic levels. Now, you might have heard that things are slowing down. You might have heard that things are just not the same as they were. I do believe that we are headed towards a down market, but I'll tell you what, the numbers are definitely out there. Investors took the housing market by storm in the second quarter. Now, this is what an article from Redfin is sharing. And this is a very like now article says that in the second quarter, investors bought over $49 billion worth of homes as the surging property prices and rental demand created opportunities for hefty profits. Multifamily properties remain the most popular among investors, but single family homes and condos are gaining steam. Relatively affordable metros, including Phoenix and Miami, have jumped in popularity during the pandemic and are the top markets for investors. Real estate investors purchased, now listen to this guys, 67,943 U.S. homes in the second quarter of 2021, the highest quarterly figure on record. That's up 15.1% from the prior quarter, up 106.7% from the second quarter of 2020. Then when activity in the housing market was stalled due to pandemic restrictions. In dollar terms, investors bought a record 48.5 billion worth of homes in the second quarter, up from 38.9 billion in the prior quarter and 20.9 billion a year earlier. The typical homes, that they purchased cost, get this guys, $439,600. That's 23.7% higher than a year early, uh, earlier amid surging housing prices. We define an investor as any institution or business that purchases residential real estate. When we refer to a record in this report, the record date back to the year 2000, scroll to the bottom, to, uh, of this report to read the methodology. So here is the graph that shows what's happened from year 2000. And then you can see it kind of spiked up 2005 to uh, let a little less than 60,000 homes. And where are we now all the way over to second quarter of 2021? Wow. It bursts through that and almost at 70,000 homes, 67 point, 67,943 homes in the second quarter. That's huge y'all. And so that means that investors are out there. If you're not aware, and if you have properties that you'd like to sell, well, I can put you in, in touch with some hedge funds that are definitely paying a premium right now. Now, what you want to ask yourself is why is it that these institutional investors are paying a premium? Well, first of all, they get their money at very inexpensive uh, rates. Secondly, there's a lot of investors, meaning mom and pops. There's people with their own retirement money. There's, there's uh, pension funds and so on that have lots and lots of cash and they want to put that cash to work. So sure enough, that's exactly what they're doing. They're buying these single family homes. And there's a reason for that. It's, a stable place to put money. It's a stable place to put money. So if you're of concern about the stock market, which might be a good thing to be concerned about these days, if you're of concern about many things, one of the great things is that when people purchase a home, even if the value goes down, they still tend to pay. Yes. In the last downturn, People did turn back their houses when they went upside down, but it was actually a small percentage compared to the overall market and compared to the number of people that continued to pay the mortgage, regardless of the fact that the property was worth less. And those people ended up winning 
because now of course those properties are much higher value. So if they turn around and sell their properties, guess what? They're in a great position. So think about that as we think about today's news and what can happen in your real estate world.